Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of the smallest bunkhouse travel trailers on the market today. This is the 2021 Coachman Clipper Model 17 BH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again today, I'm super excited to be showing you guys the Coachman Clipper 17BH. Very small, entry level, great starter bunkhouse trailer. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will. Hey guys. How's it going? Good. We're out here. I'm excited to show you the Clipper. It, you know, small stuff is very popular. So I hope you guys like it. It's so popular that we had, you know, this whole month, we've had nothing but big stuff, you know? Exactly, yeah. And then uh, we, we want to thank General RV of Richmond, Virginia for uh, hosting us and accommodating us. Beautiful state of the art dealership. So if you're in the area, come and check them out. Let's begin. My, and, and by the way, folks, sorry, we're battling the highway and the elements with the wind. Model is 17 BH, but the actual tip to tip length of the travel trailer is 20 feet, five inches long. The dry weight is 3,083 pounds. And well, the hitch weight? 340 pounds. Perfect, always remember, get weight distribution bars. I don't care how small the trailer is. Also, entry level trailers. So they're doing a lot of things to cut the price down. I'm not mad at it, just stating what it is. Like this, manual tongue jack. I absolutely hate this, do not like it. But again, price point unit, you gotta crank it on and off your truck. Single 20 pound propane tank it comes with. And then also, uh, that's where you put your batteries. This is a aluminum frame, aluminum, sided travel trailer with wood framing but it is smooth up here and i think it does look good um and the inside's been redesigned as well i think it looks really good for entry level and then right here is a black diamond plate rock guard to kick off those rocks coming outside here does have a samp solar prep if you want to have a little solar panel right here so a little bit of pasture storage i do not think that wheel comes with it i think so it goes on the front oh it does i bet maybe oh. And then right there's a manual stabilizing jack. You do have, I will say, a nice power awning with LED lights. Very nice, very good awning, especially for a small trailer. And then check this out. As entry level as this is, they still give you the solid steps. Love it, love it, love it. A new door handle for 2021. Feels more safe and secure. I like that. And uh, yeah, single X. Oh man, look at these tires. Will, they do the Castle Rock. I love those. LT, nope, they are tires, D105-101L. Very nice. Right here, you got your water heater right there. Low point trail, uh, low point drains, the leash link for you to tether up your pet. Just don't go driving off without them. And then you do got speakers on the outside right there. Coming around the back, well, we got a nice place for your stinky slinky, I love that. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. And then right there, we do have an exterior shower. Very cool. No ladder to get up on the roof. And then right there, it is prepped for a uh, backup camera if you do want to add one. Check this out. Here's where you dump your black and gray tanks. And I love, love, love this. You need the key? Don't tell me it's locked. Do you know which key it is? Hopefully this one. It says AE37. Give me a second, Will. All right. God. Hi, everybody. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Cool. Cool. Check this out. Boom goes up locks in the place and now it's storage i love this feature super awesome just 
so cool, man. Especially for a small travel trail like this, you don't have a ton of space. 30 amp power cord, cable hookup and everything. Here's where you fill up your potable water fill. Potable, potable. Oh, you said it the way I say it now, nice. <laughs> then you got your city water connection. And there's the pass-through storage right there. Well, well, the out this might have been a record on the outside. The outside of this trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Go ahead, sir. All right, here's the inside. Uh-huh. Pretty basic. Living space. Dining area, kitchen, bunks, and bathroom. What's that? that? I don't know. Double, I don't know. Something's on. Death. Death. Are we good? Cool. Up so. front here, in the bedroom area, you do have a queen size bed. This is what's called a east to west bed not a north south bed decent bed actually you know what will you gotta lay in here is jen on her way to pick us up from lunch i don't think quite yet nope how tall are you will six three yep so <laughs> sorry jen you got yep <laughs> jen's gonna have to lay on the bunk beds because it's only big enough for the one of them but look there is a handle here what's this for it's for storage oh look at that that is huge bro that is that's huge. cool yeah, very nice. And then we do have storage above. You know what I'm gonna say, Will? What? This is a hobbit-sized camper. Yeah. You know, if you're if you're Will's, I mean, look at Will. <laughs> look at Will's head, y'all. I mean, and, and, then, and then look at me. I'm good. I could live yeah. in here. And then over here, we do have the dinette. It does drop down to make a bed. It's really just a two-seater dinette. I like the windows. Uh, I like the new redesign in here with the balances. Look, it looks very um, Greek-like Hercules or whatever. Look at this, oh, right? Yeah. Kind of like Hercules. I don't know why I think of that. And then the two-tone dinette cushions. You know, it does look really, really good. And then we have the bunk bed area. You have a nice bunk over the cab here. It holds 300 pounds. And then this one right here, we got a light. And then look at this. It is mat approved. Well, go on and lay in there. Oh no. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> That's funny. I hope he gets stuck. <laughs> That'd be the best call to the fire department ever. <laughs> well, do you have plenty of space? Not really. So if your kids are six foot tall, they're not gonna enjoy themselves in this. Maybe not. <laughs> hey, good job, Will. Good support. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this travel trailer here is not bad at all. Twenty-one thousand nine hundred and five dollars. Will MSRP? Yeah. Sale price. We don't have a sale price right now because it's twenty twenty-one current model year but i'm telling you guys the price will be somewhere in the teens where in the teens i don't know but here's what i do know if you're interested in one of these we sell these at almost all our locations nationwide we'll be able to find one near you we'll tell everybody what to do they can call they can text they can email they can facetime hey 301-906-0962 that's my personal cell or go to matt's rv reviews at gmail.com send me an email or check out our website matt's rv reviews.com where you can get your official map and wool sticker, bing! Also, there's a contact us tab on our website. You contact Will and I, we will get you in contact with somebody from our team at General RV to make sure you get the best price in America. Will, let's continue the video. All right. Show up here first, I forgot okay. to show that. Some cabinet space up here. Yep. More there. Yep, and I do want to no, point out the AC unit. Yes. Uh, it is a, um, just not ducted through, it's just a dump mode. Yep. And it looks like it has a heat pump too. It does. Nice, very nice. Cool. Cool. All right, so more cabinet space here. Uh-huh. Very nice. 
Um, little sink. Little sink. Well, obviously not solid surface countertops or anything. Oh, of course not, and, yep. and I'm not mad at that. Nope, I do like the all. window right by the kitchen. Yes, that's very nice. And uh, Will, you're like a what? bull in a china oh, shop. What are you doing, Will? All right, all, all right. better. It's all better. What? What? <laughs> Will's the bull in the china, <laughs> china shop. Um. All right. Storage. More storage underneath. Very nice. I have to say, for as small as this is, the storage isn't bad. Yep. Especially when you camp that in. Um, little microwave. Uh huh. Two that burner stovetop. Yep. Two two burner stovetop. Oh, top. Is that is that a hood? Oh man, that is nice. Um, is this a micro? No, it's not. A, it's not a convection. So there's no oven. no oven at all. Nope, not at all. All right. Right here's your two burner or not two, two way burner, two way. Goodness gracious, well it's been a long month recording. Yep. Huh? Two way. Is it two-way? Yep, yeah. two-way fridge. Two-way fridge, and that's oh. about it. All right, time for the bathroom, Mo. Okay. Go, go on. Is there a sink in the bathroom? There's not. Good. Listen, a lot of people don't like that. I don't mind it. With a small trailer, you got the sink right there. <laughs> Good luck, Will. <laughs> My head is touching. Your head's touching? Yep. So, <laughs> where's the shower head? Right it's here. right there. So how would you shower? <laughs> um, shower tub. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. This would be really hard. It fails the tall test. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. Yeah. Why don't you get on out? Right. <laughs> the better you are at sports, the worse you are at camping. <laughs> okay. Here we go now. Now let me step in it real quick. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Dang, name it. No. What are we doing? You turn the water on. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, I fit. No and problem. And I'm in the china shop. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's now time for the toilet test. Plastic. So it's plastic. Yeah. Womp womp. Here's what I will say. It does not get the prime pooping position, but it's actually pretty decent, you know, for what it is my opinion if you're buying this unit you're not using this bathroom yeah. often it's going to be for emergencies in the middle of the night or when you're boondocking or somewhere and then with your family you're just going to um use the uh bathhouse bathhouse just don't have taco night no, no tacos well well that's it that's the review thank you everybody so much for watching if you guys haven't um it's before everybody leaves it's now time we give you Three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Um, three things we like. Okay, I'm gonna go first. Okay. First thing I like, right, right from the get-go, I absolutely love this entry-level step, or this entry step. I can't believe they put it. Oh, angle it down, so. Sorry. I can't believe they put it on this. This is so awesome and nice. Really, really cool and awesome. Cool. So that's one. Mine's outside too. Oh, okay. What's yours? Um. So I really feel like this is a camper where you, you crash in it at night, you're not really hanging out inside. So I like how they really took that and ran with the outside, the big outside awning. Yep. Really makes it a nice feature. Again, you're not spending much time in it, so they utilize the outside space as much as they could. 100% agree. So that's two, and then number three is over here. Love, 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 love this. Right here. I love how this yes. bed flips up out of the way. Just super awesome, nice and badass, very cool. And I love this door, and it's just one of the best additions to this camper. So easy to find three things we like. Yes. Almost as easy as it is to find three things <laughs> we dislike. You ready to go first? Sure. All right, are you ready? First thing, first dislike. Oh man. All right, we'll end with that. Okay. You want to go first? Sure. Okay, go ahead. Uh, mine's definitely the bathroom area. Again, like Matt Personal said. Personal dislike, yep. Yeah. Like Matt said, you know, you can't hate too much. You know, you're working with 21 feet and they got bunks. <laughs> 20 feet, five inches. 20 feet, five inches. Yep. Um, but just for me personally, the shower's, you know, useless. And that's what's so great about the reviews in the show, Will. Yeah. For me, that would not have been one of my dislikes because right. I, I'm fine with it. But every, listen, this camper might not be for Will, but it might be for me. 
or it might be for you or this one might not be for you you know and that's what's so fun about our show that's right there, there is no one camper out there nope so that's one number two i do not like how there's no oven yeah and i'm fine with there not being an oven but they should have made this microwave a convection oven yes I just agree my 100%. opinion my opinion i mean there's nothing more to say i said it no take backs now it's time for number three we're gonna fit will we're gonna finish off where we all began number three thing i dislike about this travel trailer manual tongue jack i understand why they're trying to save money but a power tongue jack's a hundred bucks or two yep and especially coachmen they can buy them in bulk and get them cheap and don't get me wrong you don't need the fancy power tongue jack you don't need the auto leveling and crap like that but just something where i could push a button to get it on and off my truck would have been much appreciated now can you swap that out of course you can there we go it's only three bolts yeah well that's it well that's the review thank you everybody so much for watching if you guys are interested in a trailer like this just hang on a few seconds you'll see two other videos right here of competition to this unit if you guys have any questions about this trailer please call us text us send us an email it's matt's rv reviews gmail.com or 301-906-0962 that's the personal cell, or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review stickers. Bing! Also, there's a contact us page on the website below. Again, you contact us, we will get you in contact with one of our team members at General RV to get you... Best price in America. Will, do you have anything you want to say? Sure. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We're going to go grab some lunch, figure out what we're recording next, and... Uh... Make sure you like the video, leave in the comments what you like and dislike, and we'll catch you next time. And make sure you smash that thumbs That's up right. button, especially because Will got his butt into the uh, bunk beds in the shower, and we That's appreciate right. that, Will. Make sure you check out the videos right here, and Will, we'll see you next, next time. time.